What's going on you guys? It's George and welcome back to my channel. Today you're here for a good video and that's because it's a thrift shopping video. I love these types of videos. I love thrift shopping. I love vintage and antique stuff and today this is this is kind of like a try on first impressions video of course. That's what I'm best at I guess but I visited the Salvation Army and also Goodwill. You couldn't tell them apart. There are two different types of bags. Anyways, the stores were extremely packed when I went, so I didn't film like an actual shopping video. So I figured today we will just try these on together, get a first impressions and see how it goes. But if you're interested in see what I got when I recently went thrift shopping, then keep on watching. I really do care, do you? Yes guys, this is, this shirt is, Iconic, okay? If you guys have not seen that shirt Melania Trump wore where she was like boarding a plane and said, I really don't care to you. Well, this is basically me saying I do care because I care, all right? But today, hopefully you guys care because I went thrift shopping, got a couple cool things here and I'm not really a huge fan of trying on um, used clothing without washing them, but guys, I've been so busy that for you, I will be trying these on, and um, yes. Hopefully I don't get lice or something, but yeah, let's start this video off. I'm just gonna try these on. We'll do like a, an impressions together, and um, we'll go from there. But first things first, I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite shirt that I got out of the entire collection of secondhand stuff. Okay, this is a polo. Fell in love with this because guys, stripes are huge right now. You probably see in so many different like editorial magazines and in stores, stripes are like the new flannel. I don't know, but there's so many stripes out there. Anyway, this right here has red, yellow, green, and white stripes, the red collar, and this fits absolutely amazing. Kind of reminds me of like a baseball type of shirt. I don't know why, but um, it's very old school, very 90s, even maybe 80s. I don't know, but it doesn't look too dingy. So I was like, you know what? I have to have this. Probably the best thing about this, guys, was the price. It was listed for $4.99, and I went on a day where everything except for a certain color at the Salvation Army was 50% off. But um, if I didn't say this before, we're starting with the Salvation Army bag. So everything I got from there is what I'm showing you right now. But um, yeah, $4.99, 50% off. That's... um. I basically paid nothing, so. Now, I've been wanting one of these for a while, and I just couldn't get myself to spend like 80 bucks I've seen for the one on J. Crew's uh, website. So, I caved in and got myself a secondhand turtleneck. So, some of you might be hating this. Me, personally, for the fall, going into Windsor, I think this is gonna be kind of sick. Um, I have a rather large neck, if you cannot tell. So, even though this is a turtleneck, for me, it's not very um, covering of this large neck. I don't know, I used to get called a giraffe a lot when I was like in second grade and all those like whatever grades you call them, elementary. Anyway, not bothered by it because I'm still a giraffe, I don't freaking know. But I like this guys, this is pretty sick. The color of this is what sold it for me because I mean, it's fall guys, a nice brown oversized turtleneck, this is, epic for me. I do love this, I'm not gonna lie. It's in great condition. The fabric does not seem very weird or anything. And as far as like what it's made out of, um, it's by Beverly Hills Polo Club, just to let you know. And it is 60% cotton, 40% polyester, made in Pakistan. Um, not bad. I did pay, this was $3.99 with 50% off. I think it was like white tag stuff that was not included within the 50% off. So everything that I got, was half off, which, I mean, it's even more of a deal than what the Salvation Army already is. Back to that polo, this is actually from the company Athletic Aero Club. I'm not really familiar with them, but if you guys are, leave a comment down below. Um, I don't think it's like anything high end considering what they listed it for. But next we have, this is a jean, a salmon color jean, Marlboro button down. Yes, I don't smoke and I don't promote smoking, but I see how vintage this was and just like the 
the wear on it. It's in great condition, but you can tell it was like kind of a destroyed look because some of the, the jean is distressed. And um, I love this. I don't know why, but I think this is like very retro, very cool. It has the kind of, I don't know what you want to call this, tortoise buttons. And it's in excellent condition. The color of this is definitely what sold it for me. I have a lot of just regular blue jean button downs, but just the same color and of course going to fall. This is something that I felt like I had to have. And um, I feel like cigarettes also are gonna be extinct within the future. So to have something from Marlboro is kinda cool, I don't know. The last item that I have here from the Salvation Army is a hat. Guys, when I seen this, I felt like I had to have it. Just the, the look of it looks very vintage. Um, it's not from any brand in particular. There's no tag on the back, but I love this. It says Monaco Monte Carlo. Looks very Captain-esque, if you ask me. Kind of like nautical, but I like that it's black. I like the colors. Um, I'm not going to be trying this on for you guys simply because you don't try on a used hat without disinfecting it. So I'm not even going to be putting this on my couch. I'm going to put this right back in the bag. And next we have the stuff from Goodwill course guys thrift shopping is not thrift shopping unless you're hitting up a goodwill i don't care where you're from they're pretty much like all over the u.s but goodwills to me have the best stuff they're not overpriced they don't try to like scam people that are in need of belongings like in my opinion salvation army they just like hike up their prices which is kind of sad because usually people that shop at these places are people that are um in need of money or they're like me where they like to like get vintage stuff. I don't know, but oh, this is Pearl by the way. I don't know if I ever introduced you guys to Pearl, but this is my baby Pearl. Anyway, back to the Goodwill. I only got three items from there, but the first one I got is, guys, who remembers swish pants? I don't know what else you want to call these track pants, swish pants, but they're like that swishy material. I don't know, what is the plastic? I don't, we'll find out. Let me see. This is, uh, it doesn't say, but anyway, these are Adidas oversized athletic pants. But I love these, actually on the bottom, this is what I love, is the fact that you could make them very tight, kind of like joggers, and it has the like adjuster for the size. I thought that was pretty cool. And of course the color, when it comes to athletic pants for me, I always wear black. I don't know why, I'm probably just because like it matches everything, but I love these guys and I had to get these, of course. The last item in the bag that I have here is, this is so random, but it is a key wallet. Not many people are familiar with these because like, let's face it, keys are kind of going away. I don't honestly use keys for anything except for my mailbox. Yeah, but this is a genuine leather key wallet. You just hang your keys right up here keep this very secure, but I fell in love with this because this kind of matches the um, wallet that I got when I went thrift shopping last time. It's like a cowhide, same color, um, like little wallet. But I figured this matches, this is perfect. I like the fact that it looks very um, like old school. I don't know, but I love this guys. This is very sick. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it, but it was only a dollar, which is crazy. I mean, it's genuine leather from what it says. So yeah. And actually, the brand is called Barner. Barna? Oh, Baronet. The T is kind of like coming off. But yeah, Baronet, genuine leather, key wallet. The last items I'm going to share with you guys are these chairs right here. When I seen these, actually, these were from an estate sale. I was randomly like driving, and there was an estate sale going on, and I just felt like I had to pop in. And I did, and luckily found these chairs here. My style is completely like a um, Victorian meets industrial meets um, just restoration hardware style pretty much. Love anything from there. And I personally love to resource stuff myself. So when I see these, I was like, this is a really cool project. Winter's gonna be coming up. I'm gonna have a little bit of spare time because I'm gonna be stuck indoors. So might as well get myself a little project. And yeah, that's what these are. All right guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my thrift shopping haul. This is pretty much a collection of stuff that I got from the past two weeks. Um, thrift shopping for me is either hit or miss. So it's not every time that I go, I always find something that I wanna share with you guys. So I pretty much just built up this little collection over 
like the past couple weeks and that's what this haul was. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what your favorite piece of mine was that I recently just got. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That is much appreciated, it goes a long way. Share this video, share the love. You know the truth, guys. It really helps me out. So until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.